wait for the YouTube channel, dude. Oh, shit, you got YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not big man. I only got like 200 something subscribers, but I'm getting there. I'm working. I on got it. zero though. Hey, you can start today, man. Get an action camera and you got it. Dude. We'll see. You look like you're a lot better snowboarder than I am. Nah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm probably gonna wipe out now here. I already did like 20 runs here. Jesus, dude. I've only done four. <laughs> Appreciate you, John. Thank you, dude. I love your resort, dude. Killington's awesome. Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. I just yard sailed hardcore. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> I'm never doing this with a backpack again. Hey, good morning squad. I'm Xander and welcome back to another episode of Chasing the Gnar. We are here in Rochester, Vermont after a two and a half hour drive last night from Boston, Logan International Airport. It took us about two and a half hours, close to two hours, 45 minutes to drive up here to Vermont where we are located uh, in the nice quiet town of Rochester. Very, very quiet, little intimate town. We're up here for the next couple days to check out Killington. I will be teaching my girlfriend how to snowboard, go over the basics like I did with Chad and Joey on our Jackson Hole adventure. And we do have a buddy of Joey's who is a local from Boston meeting up with us. So I will be shredding with him all day and see if I can keep up with him because he's a lot better snowboarder than I am from what I've heard. <laughs> so a huge shout out to you, Adam. Thank you for showing us around in Boston. Can't wait to snowboard with you. We got in at around 11, 11.30 last night after our flight from Miami to Boston Logan International Airport. We checked out the area, tried to get some dinner. Parking is abysmal in Boston, <laughs> so anticipate that. And then we made our drive up to Rochester, Vermont. They did get some snow last night, but there's a forecast of five inches. So I'm really looking forward to that. I really hope we get a nice pow day. I've been dying to get a pow day this season for Chasing the Nar. We're gonna get a bite to eat in the town and then we're gonna head out to Killington. So let's get it. here grabbing quick breakfast out at sugar and spice near killington this was a recommendation to check out just here for the morning ice cream so <laughs> that's what i like they have fudge i want to take these too this is good maple sugar coated pecan Oh, yeah. Not about the aesthetics. It's about the taste. <laughs> <laughs> taste. <laughs> so we just had breakfast at the uh, Sugar and Spice breakfast spot. It was pretty good. Pretty affordable too for the amount of food that we got. Pancakes. I had eggs and steak. Pretty affordable. Nice little spot. Lots of nice little trinkets and spices, candies, syrups you can buy for family and loved ones so that was nice we got a bunch of stuff for our family and friends so what do you guys think that was good i'm eating <laughs> yeah, jazz got a bunch of fudge look at, this, look at this fudge it's maple walnut yeah that's maple and walnuts right? <laughs> and jo joey got some uh, maple also, walnut ice cream maple walnut. Yeah. Yeah. perfect addition to the other five six things and, and now we're, now we're ready to shred killington Nah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Ten out of ten. This is spot, guys. <laughs> All right, let's get. Let's get. We're not. We're not. Let's get this nap. <laughs> let's get this nap. <laughs> Road. 
Whatever. <laughs> we out roading? <laughs> Off roading? <laughs> Jesus. My brain. All right, we met up with Adam in the Bunny Hills here at Snowshed with Joey warming up before we tackled this mountain. Yeah, on that front. Icon Pass got on the 25% uh, discount. Again, weekends are more expensive yeah. than weekdays. So we're gonna go ahead, right up the side of the mountain, hit up some greens here to uh, just to try to hone in our carving. And yeah, this is uh, chasing the gnar. <laughs>
little bit more pow, but we did get some light snowfall right now at the end of this day. Uh, I think the resort's actually closed now. Yeah, the resort's closed, so I'm literally taking the last lift back. This lift is gonna take me to the beginning of the snowshed runs, and then I'm gonna run down snowshed area, the, the greens for beginners. That'll lead me straight to the resort, the snowshed lodge resort, or snowshed base, rather. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Whew. This mountain's a killer. <laughs> I need to lose a little bit more weight, but that's besides the point. But I'm gonna end the day here with a nice snowshed run. Ooh, the wind's picked up a lot too. I saw that they were also closing down some lifts now at the end. Uh, actually, at around 2 o'clock, a lot of lifts were closing down because of the wind. But crazy how the weather changed so quickly here. But yeah, Killington, I can't wait to come back. This is, I keep saying that about every mountain I visit, but Killington, Beast of the East. If you're ever in the East Coast, definitely check it out. I highly recommend maybe staying somewhere near Killington, Rochester, Vermont. You got uh, Pico. Uh, oh, shares the mountain with Killington. It's cheaper, but if you do buy a lift ticket with Pico, you can get access to Killington. Pico lift tickets, day tickets run about $60. I'll post the prices right there. Killington, those prices are similar to Jackson Hole. You've got to look at what day you want to go and plan ahead. You do save some money by reserving ahead of time, booking it in advance online. If you have a buddy with the Icon Pass, you can get 25% off discount with friends and family. They just got to send you that discount code via email. And yeah, guys, I mean, Vermont, if the easiest way to get to Killington, you either fly in through Albany, New York. It's about two hour, 15 minute drive or fly in through Boston, Logan International Airport, two and a half to three hour drive northwest Vermont. But yeah, guys, Killington's where it's at. I'm loving it. Definitely underappreciated East Coast Mountain the largest east coast mountain that we have <laughs> be sure to leave a like and comment let me know what you guys think about the east coast mountains uh, so far killington is my first ever east coast mountain i've hit and i'm loving it so far i had a lot of people hit me up and give me recommendations for the area so major shout out to you guys really appreciate it. especially you new england skiing really appreciate you thank you for all your support and uh yeah let's close out this awesome day in killington Burton gloves got snagged and ripped right off from the uh, from the chairlift. So, and I couldn't find it, so I think it flew the other way down on that chairlift. But looks like I'm gonna finish the day getting frostbite.
Well, almost three months later since I filmed this episode of Chasing an R at Killington and I finally got around to getting it done. I probably could have gotten this video out a little bit sooner, but I did have a pretty turbulent uh, last month or two, one of them being uh, transitioning to a new job. And you know, I, I am a one man crew, so I edit everything myself and I had to go through a bunch of files and clean up things on my end for this episode. And I actually had an ending filmed for this episode of Chasing the Nar with Adam. And for some reason, I just couldn't find the file. It was filmed with my GoPro and I just couldn't find it. When I was pulling all the files for editing at Adobe Premiere, and I think I might have accidentally deleted it, especially when I was bouncing between different storages and then formatting my SD cards. So a bitter pill to swallow, a definitely a hard lesson to learn here. <laughs> definitely double check my SD cards, double check that I have every file I need for my editing before I format my SD cards. This was a rookie mistake on my part. Definitely moving forward, we'll make a concerted effort to double check that I have all the files I need. <laughs> no, so my bad, Adam, buddy, I got you in the next one. My apologies. I had that ending filmed with Adam to close out this Killington episode, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to end it this way. Let me know down in the comments, have you been to Killington? Is Killington on your radar on the East Coast, as they like to say? The East Coast is full of awesome mountain resorts to check out for skiing and snowboarding. I enjoyed checking out Killington for the very first time and I am looking forward to going back to that mountain. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Chasing an R. Sorry it took so long to get it out to you guys. I'm trying to, I'm trying my best to get these videos out as soon as I can. <laughs> anyway, I'm Xander and I'll catch you all on the wild side. Peace.